morning you guys it's Karen and before I start this video I just want to reassure you that there won't be anything graphic there's no graphic images in this at all in fact there probably won't be any images I might put maybe um, one of the dogs up for adoption at the end of the video but I just wanted to tell you about a birthday fundraiser that I am doing and that is so close to my heart and I wanted to ask for your help with either sharing um, the charity's information or donating of course would be amazing so basically what it is is for my birthday which is in June I am asking to not be sent cards and not be given presents but instead that people donate to the charity called Animal Hope and Wellness. June the 3rd is my birthday and in June more towards the end of June is the Yulin Festival where dogs are tortured. Now dogs are tortured all year round um, in slaughterhouses in Asia because there is a belief that if the dogs are tortured the meat will be more tender. Um, but around Yulin it is obviously more prolific because it is a dog meat festival. It's a dog meat and lychee festival. And these things happen in plain sight and they are just horrific. But the Animal Help and Wellness um, Foundation which is uh, run by Mark Cheng who I've talked about his interview before is just amazing and they rescue as many dogs as they can they save as many dogs as they can um, most of the dogs have at least a limb missing and broken bones um, because this is what happens to them it is literally the most horrific thing I have ever heard of it terrifies me that humans can be so cruel and if you do see any of the pictures and I try not to look at them because I know a lot of you feel the same as me it literally makes me feel ill I can't concentrate on anything but I did catch a few photos a couple of days ago because obviously if you're involved in in the charity you may occasionally see photos I just felt sick to my stomach I it was horrible but the look in the dog's eyes is just so innocent um and when they get rescued and rehabilitated, they're such happy, trusting dogs. It's just amazing what the charity does. So anyway, um, like I said, I wanted to tell you about it. It's on my Facebook page. I will put a link to it, of course. Um, and it can be anything from a pound to whatever you can afford. Anything is really, really helpful because obviously it's a lot of money for them to go across to Asia and to bring these dogs back. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get through June. It, it will be all I think about when actually, like I said, the torture does happen year round, um, but I just, you know that it's worse in the run up to the festival. Um, and I guess this makes me feel like I'm doing something very small to potentially help. So if you want to help, I get asked by people, of course, how can I help? If you want to stop this, there's two things you can do. One is donate, um, and it's very, very simple to do. Or you could create your own fundraiser, of course. You could do exactly the same thing as this for your birthday. Um, and the other thing you can do is to share this information. And I have chosen to try and share it without any horrific images because I know that it's just so disheartening and so upsetting. Um, so if you share this, there are so many people that don't know this is going on. The more people out there that know about this, the more people that will donate, the more people that will sign petitions, the more people that will bring this to the awareness of the people that can stop it. So thank you very much for watching today. If you are in the US and you are interested in having a dog, there are some amazing dogs um, up for adoption and um, I'll put the website for you to go and have a look if you are interested so thank you in advance and I'll speak to you soon